Uh, here we want to look at an example which is related to Poisson's ratio. Uh, so here we have a, a block that has a rectangular cross section and subjected to a compressive uh, load of 8 kip. As a result of this compressive load, uh, what we are given is that the one and a half inch side is going to change length to 1.5 so the one and a half inch side is going to be now 1.500132 inch so it's going to slightly change length or expand based on this information we want to determine the Poisson's ratio now we know that Poisson's ratio is denoted by nu and I'll um, define it in a in a second and then also the other thing we want to find as a result of this uh, compressive load is what would be the new length of the 2 inch side so also find new length of the 2 inch side okay what, what we are also given is that the modulus of elasticity of this block is 10,000 KSI or uh, 10 million PSI so that's also given okay so actually this is uh, basically an aluminum uh, block the 10,000 KSI or 10 million PSI is the modulus of elasticity of aluminum okay so first of all the definition of Poisson's ratio is nu is defined as the negative of the ratio of what we call lateral strain denoted by epsilon uh, sub LAT means lateral divided by axial strain okay so we have to define what we mean by lateral and what do we mean by axial axial actually is defined by the direction of the load so this is the axial direction when the load is applied and the other two directions perpendicular to this so so first of all this is axial the red is axial and then the blue here this direction and the one perpendicular to it so basically if you want to give it an axis uh, give it a name this is the x-axis then you can call this the y-axis for example and this one z-axis so x is the uh, axial and y and z are the lateral direction so this is the z is lateral as well as y y is also lateral okay so x is axial y and z are lateral all right so first of all we can find actually the uh, actually the axial strain by uh, calculating the stress in the axial direction so let me just erase this so you could see the 8 kip here and uh, so in the uh, axial direction if you go ahead and find sigma, sigma is load divided by area. So the load is 8 kip. We don't even have to change the unit. 8 kip. And the cross-sectional area, as you could see, is this area that is the load is acting. It's, so it's a 2 by 1.5. So 2 inch by 1.5 inch. Inch times inch would be inches squared. So kip divided by inches squared would be KSI. So this becomes about 2.667 KSI. Now this is a compressive, so in the uh, notation we have to use negative. Okay, so meaning that in the uh, formulas we, we use this as a negative. So now we know that based on Hooke's law, sigma is equal to E epsilon. So in the axial direction, epsilon axial, which is the direction of the load, would be sigma that I just calculated divided by E. So if I take the two point 667 KSI and divide it by the modulus of elasticity which is 10,000 KSI I have then the axial strain which would be and, and by, by the way I'm going to call this a negative since it's a compressive stress would be negative 0.00026 and as you know, epsilon is dimensionless. So we got, got the uh, axial strain. 
So we need now to go ahead and find the lateral strain. So remember, the lateral strain could be determined based on the, uh, the equation that uh, this is change in length divided by length. So we already know that, let's go back, the one and a half inch side changed to 1.500132. So the difference divided by initial length on that side. Remember, one and a half inch side is along the Z axis, which defines the uh, lateral direction. So if we take 1.500132 minus 1.5, that's the change, divided by initial length, which is 1.5, that would be or lateral strain, which would be then 0 0.000088. Four zeros, eight, eight. So this is the lateral strain. So let's go ahead and calculate the Poisson's ratio. Remember, Poisson's ratio is negative of the lateral strain divided by axial strain. Lateral is the one that we have here, 0.000088, and the uh, uh, axial strain from the last page, it was 0.0002667, it was negative. So negative and negative cancel one another. So this is roughly 0.33, which is consistent with the Poisson's ratio value of the property for aluminum. Now, all we have to do now is to use this lateral strain since um, the two-inch side, which is the y-axis, this two-inch side, is also the lateral strain, and that's the same lateral strain that we have. So the new length of the two-inch side would be, it's already two inches, so we're going to add to it because it's going to expand. So if you call this edge, the new length of the two inch side is two inch plus two times the lateral strain which is 0 0.000088 which is not going to be much as expected so that would be 2.000176 inch so that's the new length of the two inch side using the same lateral strain obviously